like I wanted. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I would like to welcome you back to No Limit Learning. Today, the brilliant mayors and governors of Home and Leadership Academy are going to show you how easy it is to teach kids of any age how to multiply. Now, my leaders are not only smart, but they work very hard. And we've been working very hard at singing songs. So in order to teach your kids a very easy way of multiplying regardless of the age, we have Jade here who is just four years old and she already knows how to multiply. I start off by teaching my kids how to count by numbers. They already know how to count by twos, they know how to count by threes, they know how to count by fours and fives. And we've only been in school just a little over 10 weeks. So, the song that you just heard came from a very creative CD. It's called Math of Magic, and you can buy that from therappingteacher.com. And it teaches kids their, their multiplication tables through music. So, my kids know how to count by numbers because of the songs, and now I'd like to show you how easy it is once they know how to count by numbers, how to teach them how to multiply. So, leaders, home in. Leaders! We're going to multiply in a very, very easy way. I would first like to see what is, and we don't even need this because my leaders know their numbers. Let's see, four times three. Now, one way that I can teach you, we already know the song. Um, we're going to count by fours how many times, class? Three. Three times. So let's hold up three fingers. We're going to count by fours. Four, eight, twelve. So four times three is what, class? Twelve. Very good. That's one way. There's another way just to help your little ones to get a greater understanding of what multiplication is all about. We're just adding numbers several times. So I'm going to add the number four how many times, class? Three. Come on, Hannah, help me out. So I'm going to make groups of four. One, two, three, four. How many groups do I have? One. Just one. And I need how many groups? Three. Okay, so one, two, three, four. How many groups do I have? Two. Now I have two groups. One, two, three, four. Now how many groups do I have? Three. I have three groups. So I can add up the three groups of four. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you can teach them by drawing pictures or you can teach them through song. And for me, it's a lot easier and faster with the song. So, once your kids know how to count by different numbers, they are ready to multiply. Again, you just tell them we're going to count by four, three times. Let me give you another one. How about uh, three times five? So, everyone hold up five fingers. We're going to count by threes, five times. So, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. So, three times five is what, class? Fifteen. And this is not staged. My leaders, this is their first day learning how to multiply in this type of way. They already know how to count the numbers because they've been singing the songs. This is their first day learning this. So, three times five is what, class? Fifteen. Very good. Now that they know how to multiply, it is very, very easy to teach them how to divide. Now, divide is we're going to cut up a big number down into smaller numbers. So, I'm going to take, how about I have 20? Well, that's a big number. That's too much for me to draw. How about 8? And this thing right here looks really crazy. It means divided by. Everyone say divided by. Divided by. So 8 divided by, we're going to do 2. 8 divided by 2. I want to know how many times can the number 2 be added into eight. Or if I were to break up eight into groups of two, how many groups would I have? So we're Hello. going to we're going to think of the number eight in our head and we're going to count by twos. So that's two, four, four, four six, six eight. eight. How many times is that? Eight. How many times four. I count? Four. I count four times. So I'm stopping at eight and that was two, four, six, eight. eight. How about the number 10? Whoa. Let's say 10 divided by 5. So I'm going to stop at 10. I'm going to think 10 in my head. And I'm going to count by 5. So 5, 10, 2. Oh, no, we're stopping at 10. So 5, 10. So how many times can 10 
be divided by five. Two. 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 Very good. I can also do the same thing. I can draw pictures. I can draw ten cookies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I have ten cookies. And I want to make them into groups of five. So here's one, two, three, four, five. Here's one group of five. And one, two, three, four, five. Here's another group of five. So leaders, how many groups of five do you see here? Two. Two. Very good. Only one person sees it. How many groups of five do you see? Two. Thank you. Now that they know how to divide, I'm going to show you how extremely easy it is to teach a leader or your young one, whatever you call them, how to square a number. And this is very new. They've never seen this before. So I'm going to erase this. And when we square a number, that means that number times itself. So if I have 2, we call this the second power, or when the little 2 is up here, that's called our exponent, and this big number is called our base. So this is going to tell us how many times to multiply the number 2. So how many times will I multiply the number 2, leaders? 2. 2. So that's 2 times 2. Class, what's 2 times 2? 4. 2 times 2 is 4. Very good. So 2 squared is 4. Let's think about 3 to the second power. It's also called 3 squared. So 3 to the second power is what, Nicholas? How many times will I multiply 2? No, I mean the number 3. 2 times. 2 times. So that's 3 times 3. So leaders, let's count by 3's. 3 times. 3, 6, 9. So 3 nine. times 3 is nine. 9. So 3 to the second power or 3 squared is nine. 9. Very good, Jake. All right. Now, Nicholas here, he's in first grade. He's been squaring numbers since the very beginning of, of his first grade because he already knew how to multiply. Now, let's see. Hannah, I'm going to need your help, okay? So, Nicholas, the opposite of squaring a number Hannah, I'm going to need your help. The opposite of squaring a number is called the square root. Everyone say, woo, square root. Woo, square root. Woo. So, the opposite is square root. And since Nicholas has been multiplying for a very, very long time, since he started kindergarten, he's going to go ahead and do some square roots. So, Nicholas, you have to think what number times itself will give you the number that goes in here. Okay, so I'm going to put the number 9 in here. So, Nicholas... Tell me the square root of 9. What number times itself will give me 9? What times what? 3 times 3. Very good. 3. Okay, let me give you a big one. How about the square root of 25? What times what will give me 25? 5 times 5. Ooh, you're fast. All right, how about the number hmm, 100? Let's see if you can do 100, Nicholas. Square root of 100. Think of what times what? We'll give 50 you... times uh, 2. Well, 50 times 2. Very good. Oh, he's so brilliant. He, he's just started first grade. 50 times 2 is 100, but it has to be one number times itself. What times what? 10 times 10. Woo! Very you are on fire. So the square root of 100, Nicholas, is what? 10. And also, 10 square, a 10 oh. to the second power, is the same thing as 10 times 10, which is 100. So you guys get a round of applause. Fantastic. And as you can see, as you can see, it is extremely easy to teach your kids anything at any age. You just have to try. Our leaders are brilliant. All of our babies can do it. We just have to try. Thank you for watching No Limit Learning.